Oompa Loompa Courtney is back in business. I don't know what happened, okay? And this is kind of a scary video and I look terrifying. So it goes together. I actually got this idea from one of you guys. So Sarah, if you're watching, thank you for this. I didn't know this was a thing. And if I had known it was a thing, I would have done this a long time ago because I started reading. Okay, let me explain what I'm doing because I, I talk too much. I'm going to be reading to you guys some of the two sentence horror stories. I didn't want to make this my like scary story for the week because it's not, it's just not the same. And it's more so going to be me reacting to these, I guess, and like talking about them afterwards. And it just doesn't have the same effect as like an entire scary story. So I'm just going to start reading them to you. I'm actually really excited. I read a couple and I was like, <sighs> I was having a pleasant dream when what sounded like hammering woke me. After that, I could barely hear the muffled sound of dirt covering the coffin over my screams. Honestly, I think one of my biggest fears besides drowning and besides the ocean is like being buried alive, like suffocating and not being able to breathe. I can't sleep, she whispered, crawling into bed with me. I woke up cold, clutching the dress that she was buried in. Does that mean like she came out of her grave? I begin tucking him into bed and he tells me, Daddy, check for monsters under my bed. I look underneath for his amusement and see him, another him, under the bed, staring back at me, quivering and whispering, Daddy, there's somebody on my bed. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. This is worse than the scary stories that I read like every week. I think I've seen something like that before where it was like two people and like they couldn't tell who was who, but like they had to kill one of them. You get home, tired after a long day's work, and ready for a relaxing night alone. You reach for the light switch, but another hand is already there. I hate this, this is so shitty. I'm gonna, I'm literally gonna have nightmares. I'm already terrified because I'm home alone right now. Like, I think I've explained this before, but my parents moved out of my house, which I'm in right now. But I'm staying in this house while it's up for sale uh, until I moved to Texas, because I didn't want to have to move 1400 times. The entire house is empty, and I always hear noises at night because I'm just a paranoid piece of shit and now I'm just making it worse for myself. I can't move, breathe, speak, or hear, and it's so dark all the time. If I knew it would be this lonely, I would have been cremated instead. I don't wanna hear any more stories about people being in their grave. I can't, I'm so scared. I don't want that to happen to me. She went upstairs to check on her sleeping toddler. The window was open and the bed was empty. I didn't know two sentences could freak me out as much as these fucking things are. I never go to sleep, but I keep waking up. That was not that scary. I mean, it's like weird, like, that, yes, that sucks, but whatever. It's, there's worse things in the world. My daughter won't stop crying and screaming in the middle of the night. I visit her grave and ask her to stop, but it doesn't help. After working a hard day, I came home to see my girlfriend cradling our child. I didn't know which was more frightening, seeing my dead girlfriend and stillborn child, or knowing that someone broke into my apartment to place them there. <gasps> Sarah, I'm so mad at you for making me do this. I read like two and I was like, yeah, these are interesting. I'm gonna like wake up and there's just gonna be like corpses all around my room. I'm gonna be in a graveyard when I wake up. There was a picture in my phone of me sleeping. I live alone. The last thing I saw was my alarm clock flashing 1207 before she pushed her long rotting nails through my chest, her other hand muffling my screams. I sat bolt upright, relieved it was only a dream. But as I saw my alarm clock read 12.06, I heard my closet doors creak open. Growing up with cats and dogs, I got used to the sound of scratching at my door while I slept. Now that I live alone, it is much more unsettling. I hate this one because that actually happens to me. If you guys have never seen my paranormal videos or anything where I talk about the paranormal stuff that happens to me, I literally have a scratching on the bottom of my door all the time. I thought I, okay, I'm, so I'm panicking. I have a robe hanging up on a mannequin and I just saw it in my mirror and I shit my pants as I continue to read. A girl heard her mom yell her name from downstairs so she got up and started to head down. As she got to the stairs, her mom pulled her into her room and said, I heard that too. I think that's the one I was talking about. I think I've heard that before or seen a longer version of it where it's like, your mom's calling you downstairs but she's also in her bedroom. My wife woke me up last night to tell me there was an intruder in her house. She was murdered by an intruder two years ago. I awoke to the sound of my baby monitor crackling with a voice comforting my firstborn child. As I adjusted to a new position, my arm brushed against my wife, sleeping next to me. Why are these all about intruders or people like being suffocated? I'm not sleeping tonight. I can say that a million times, but I'm not sleeping tonight. I always thought my cat had a staring problem. She always seemed fixated on my face. Until one day when I realized that she was just always looking behind me. There's nothing like the laughter of a baby, unless it's 1am and you're home alone. 
This video is gonna be short and I'm sorry, but I I'm shitting my pants right now I get scared really easily of things like that like the scary stories that I read I'm like yeah, this is like a long like story There's so much detail put into it Like there's so many things for all the characters to develop and whatever and it only relates to these characters But these are so short and I'm like these are gonna happen to me right now. They're short and they don't have a person They just are me. Oh, I dropped my phone though Which is probably not smart considering there's going to be somebody breaking into my house at any point now So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like it and I can always do more Thank you again, Sarah for telling me about this because I can't wait to die. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. This is going to be the shortest video I have going up in a long time, but I honestly can't read any more of these. Bye. If I die, uh, it'll make a good story time for someone else, because I'll be dead. See ya.